On December 11, 2007, mud, uprooted trees, and other debris ripped down a hillside in northwest Oregon, covering the small community of Woodson. Later news reports linked the cause of the mudslide to clear-cut logging in the hills above the town, bringing renewed focus to the correlation between mudslides and clear-cut logging. According to state geologists, the steep hillside above Woodson was previously clear-cut by Oregon State University's Department of Forestry. Landslides from the cutover landscape spilled into Eilertson Creek, where debris built up behind an old railroad embankment, depicted in yellow. When the weight behind the embankment reached a critical mass, the embankment gave way, sending tons of mud and debris down Eilertson Creek towards Highway 30 and the town of Woodson. The red area represents the debris field, which was initially 300 yards wide. This aerial footage is from three weeks later. The Woodson slide highlights the relationship between clear cuts, like the hundreds of acres seen here just south of Woodson, and the risk of mudslides. Ironically, this slide buried Timber Road, west of Vernonia. From the air, you can truly see the impacts left by logging on this area of the northern coast range. While mudslides are not always caused by clear-cut logging, the Woodson slide and years of research have proven the risks associated with clear-cutting. As you look at the detrimental impact these clear-cuts have had on the stability and the natural beauty of the land, consider this. The Bureau of Land Management, a federal agency that manages forests in Oregon, is planning to increase clear-cutting of old-growth forests on 2.6 million acres of land by a whopping 700%. This plan is known as the Western Oregon Plan Revision, or WAPR. Oregon's congressional delegation needs to hear from you about how bad this WAPR of a plan is. Check out OregonWild.org slash OregonForests to find out how you can protect Oregon's natural heritage.